that welcome back or welcome to my channel my name is Tori and today I am updating the God of Panama Project Pan <music> This is a rolling style project pan that was created by Heather for the Fantastic Ladies Group collab. It started February 26th, 2021. I was about to say 2020. And will end December 26th, 2021. And it updates every other month. All right off the bat, sadly I did not finish anything. Uh, we'll talk about that when I get to it. But I am pulling in and well, rolling in two new items. So let's just jump into it. The first trait I trait. The first prompt I picked was Squirtle. So for Squirtle, it was something blue or cool toned. So I picked the AOA Wisp en uh, Enhancing. I was gonna say Enchanting uh, Mascara. Since the last update, I've only used it eight times. I do really enjoy the brush. So every time I've used this, I've really enjoyed it. I'm not gonna do blue with like every look. I have done it as a pop of color. Um, I've used it a lot on my lower lash line, but I don't use it every day because I just don't. I'm not, haven't done that yet. Um, but I'm very happy with the usage so far. It feels completely full still. So I know I have a long way to go. Next is Bulbasaur. So the prompt for Bulbasaur was something green or neutral toned. So I picked the foundation because, you know, tan is a neutral color. So I picked the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Mini Foundation Sample. So the goal was to finish it. It's at the halfway mark. Since the last update, I've used it 10 times. So I've had a problem with... Um, the e.l.f. foundation I've been working on, I thought it was going to be done before this update so then I could finish this, uh, but that was a gross estimate. Uh, I overestimated that. The e.l.f. foundation is hopefully going to be done tomorrow. Um, I'm at that point. So this one definitely will be done for the next update, but just not in time for this one as I threw it. Um, this foundation does have to be mixed because it is too dark for me. It's in the shade Snow, and I am a paley pale neutral. So, uh, yeah. Next update will definitely be done, but, you know, it happens. Next, for Charmander, the prompt was something orange, red, or warmed tone, warm toned. So I picked Butterscotch from the Lorac uh, Pro 4. I forgot what this was called for a second there. My goal is to finish it. It's starting to get a little nice dip. It's actually um, deeper than I thought it was. I've only used it five times since the last update and that's just because I thought it was going to be just like a warmer cool taupe but it has pigment so I haven't used it with every look like I thought I would have and I just stuck my finger in four different eyeshadows without realizing. Then the last item to talk about before the Rollins is for Mewtwo, and that is a dupe of a legendary product. So I picked the e.l.f. camo concealer because you could say it's a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. Since the last update, I've used it eight times. The reason this doesn't have more use is because it's very pigmented. It has high coverage, you barely have to use it, and I was focusing on my Naked Concealer. My Naked Concealer is now done, so it's this one's time to shine. It honestly could be done by the next update. There is there is some gaping. So that means at least like a month and a half worth use left in it. So we'll see. It could happen. Could not. I just have to be very careful to not uh, overdo it with this concealer. Because if I overdo it, you can definitely tell. Now the Rollins. Uh, one of the first one we're going to talk about might seem familiar to some people. I haven't talked about it in a while. But it's still kicking. So I picked the prompt Ash. I picked Ash Ketchum. Um, the prompt is something you are determined to finish. So I pulled in the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Paris Perfume. So it's at this mark. I didn't mean to make the mark so big, but you know, it happened. Um, I really want this done. Uh, when I finished, I don't even remember what project this was on. 
I generally don't remember what project this was in. Tight. Um, well, whatever project it was, when I finished the project, it was here. And then I was going to use it in my free time, and I have, as you can see, because there definitely is a space in between. But now it's it's time to get out of my life. $25. I want it out. I just don't wear scents like these anymore. It's not bad. It's just heavier than what I would rather wear now. I'm very determined to get this done. <laughs> and then the next item I'm pulling in, the prompt I chose was for Misty. So for Misty, the prompt is a gimme product, something you can logically finish. So this is the, it's from the Dead Sea collection. I think that is like a Big Lots brand. It's the Hemp and Collagen Day Cream with Dead Sea Minerals. It's a little moisturizer. I know it's a day cream, but I typically use this at night because it is a little, little heavy. This is what it currently looks like. It has some pan and it's, it's not going to need too long. It definitely will be finished soon-ish, whether that's in one update or two. Um, we'll see. But, yeah. It's not a bad cream. I actually really like it. I have no idea whether or not it's cruelty-free. Um, I've used, I typically use it on my face, but sometimes I will use it on, like, uh, my knees and my ankles and, like, my elbows because they're somehow always dry. So, it doesn't smell like hemp. It just smells like lotion. It That's all it smells like, if you were wondering. And it doesn't smell like any Dead Sea algae, because I like that smell, to be honest. But it doesn't have any of that either. So, yeah. Logically, I think this one will be an easy gimme product. I mean, it's not a complete gimme, because it's going to take some usage, but not too hard. Yeah, I think the game plan for me is every update, whether I finish something or not, I'm going to pull two stuff in. And I think that's also because um, seeing everyone else's updates on Facebook and on Instagram, I noticed a lot of people did all the prompts and it made me a little scared. So I don't want to fall behind. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to pull in two every update. So say next month I finish one item, I will pull in one item to replace that and two more prompts because I do want to try to have every single prompt in this project. Obviously not at the same time, but throughout the uh, span of this project, if that makes sense. So yeah, this is how my current update is doing. Not the best, not the worst. Everything is getting used though, so I'm very content with that. And yeah, uh, don't forget to check out everyone else doing this project. I should have the master list linked in my description box down below. And yeah, if you enjoy me or Project Pan videos, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and all that jazz. And peace out, Girl Scout.